thing. So just a lot of little stuff helps. I'm sure it all goes together, but is there something in particular that you see as the biggest contributor to getting faster? I mean, I'd say I, I changed up my diet a lot this past off season, just trying to, you know, take out the fast food and different stuff like that. So I'd say, like, nutrition-wise, that helped me a lot. What, what are you missing the most there? <laughs> this is not, like, marketing or anything, <laughs> but I, mean, I love Panda Express. So, <laughs> yeah, probably that. I'll eat some for you. <laughs> Katie, the success you had last year, particularly the breakout game against Minnesota, does, does that raise the bar for you? Do you have higher expectations well, for yourself? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm really hard on myself, and so is Coach Ward. So, yeah, I mean, knowing what I did, like I want to continue to get better and improve on that. And uh, uh, the first time you strapped the pads on, I don't know if it was in, in the spring or now, or mm. and took those first hits. Um, was there any apprehension oh, definitely. about your shoulder? Or just no, I was just out there playing. I haven't, I haven't felt my shoulder like for like six months now. So like I haven't really worried about it at all. So I wasn't no like apprehension or anything about that. What did you learn about carrying a workload uh, in those three or four games that, that you carried? That what did you learn about doing that in the season? Man, yeah, I learned, like, it's tough in the Big Ten, so, like, you got to stay on top of, like, recovery and everything. So I learned that and then just being, like, prepared for everything. So, yeah, just being prepared and recovering. Just that role you were in last year kind of thrust into, uh, how does that help you prepare for, for this year? And, and what, how do you think that plays out on the field? Oh, uh, it definitely helps me a lot knowing, like, I'm more confident now, too, because I was just go coming into it last year. So knowing, like, I know the offense a little bit more and everything. So, yeah. What was uh, behind I mean, cutting Panda Express out of, out of the night? I mean, I just, like, during uh, going into the May break, when we had that month off, I'm like, I just want to try something different, see if I can get like a like an edge in, in something. So I just tried to cut that out, and it, it worked out. What differences have you made, noticed? Well, like, so like, well, we do we do DEXA scans, and my body fat, fat went down a little bit, and then just my body weight has kind of been going down. But like, it's still like two. I'm still at 250 right now, but I was at like 255 coming out of surgery, so I wanted to lose those five pounds, get back to 250. I don't know if someone mentioned this already, but I mean, you were on the first trial these freaks list this morning. What does that maybe mean to you to be considered, I mean, a freak, but in a good way? I, mean, I, I didn't even know that, actually. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it means a lot. Uh, just just being able to be on that list with a bunch of different players, so, yeah. I mean, I think Coach Beal uh, dropped the, the Derrick Henry reference with us once. I mean, how to. So your coach thinks like physically and all of your you know, athletic ability matches up with a guy like that. I mean, mm -hmm. like, what does that kind of mean? I mean, it means a lot, but I know Derrick Henry is one of the better running backs of all the time. So I just want to, I know I'm good physically. It's just mentally up top. I got to stay on my game. Talk about confidence. What did you get confidence in? How did you gain it? I mean, really just mastering the mental rep. Like Coach Ward said, during spring ball, just trying to, get every rep from the side and not have any MEs coming back or mental errors and yeah. What are your expectations for yourself going into your second season? I mean just trying to get better every day really just trying to help my teammates out and be the best player I can be. Just the overall health of this running back room how much does that excite you and excite the rest of the guys? Oh it's really exciting I mean knowing what happened to us last year knowing that we were all back together and ready to run the rock is a good feeling. How much does the depth in that room continue to push you? You know, it's like there's three, four other guys there. They'll take these snaps if you're Oh, yeah. You know, no, it, it's great. I mean, we all push each other equally. So, like, having that competition is only going to make us better. What did you learn about yourself last year? Like, during the season? Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, really just learn, like, just keep – keep taking notes because like I wasn't prepared to get in that situation but I would always like take notes and like write down what the players that were starting that were doing so just like even if you're not playing prepared like you're gonna play yeah I mean I was I was ready I would say yeah I was ready because you know I just always like every week I'd write down stuff that the starters were doing and asking them questions and stuff like that so 
this kind of the opportunity you came for oh, yeah. is, is to, to kind of be some of the feature backs. So what's kind of your mindset going into that role full time? I mean, it's a really good feeling. I mean, uh, growing up watching everything. So mindset is just trying to help this team to be as successful as we can be. What, uh, what have you seen some aid? Oh, he's looking really good out there. I mean, just the cuts that he makes and everything, just the speed that he plays with is, is really special. What, how does he compliment you? Oh, he compl like, it's just a different change of pace. Like, he's quick, and then we're more of, like, get downhill, get some yards. So, yeah, it's a good change up. And then Khalil is coming up, too. He's pretty quick, too. So, yeah. Oh, he's doing really good. He's learning the offense well, and he's, he's quick. He makes the right reads and stuff like that, too. Some people are excited about Josh. He just hasn't been healthy the last couple years. What have you seen from him over the last year? Really mm -hmm. Oh, he's been – Josh has looked really good, too. I mean, the cuts and stuff that he makes and then just his attention to detail in the, in the, in the room and stuff. So, yeah. Coach Ronnie and everybody's talking about we want to run the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to run it better than last year. So. What do you guys feel about that? What's, what's your guys' part on I mean, we just, we know it's on us. So we know we got to, every day, we just got to keep pushing and keep getting better. Just take it day by day, get better every day. So, yeah.